Welcome back if you're joining me from the previous video. Thank you so much for watching. So uh, in this two-part video, we are creating clothing in Blender. So if you haven't watched the first part, uh, do well to go ahead and check it out because there are, there are easier ways to make uh, the clothing but less effective. And in this video, I'm going to show you the most effective, but uh, the relatively harder one, okay? So in the previous video, we made this uh, crop top here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make, uh, I think we'll make the same crop top. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do, but let's see how it goes, okay? So the third and my final method of making clothing in Blender. <clears throat> let's do it. Okay, let me delete this one. And uh, this I just did by selecting random in the color, okay? Nothing fancy. So let's just go ahead and create clothes for this. Now this method, you are going to have to, let's just tap into the edit mode. Let's just hit shift S and cursor to select it. Okay, this is just for personal preference. I like starting at the middle of the model. So let's begin shift A and we can add a plane. Let's rotate the plane 90 degrees, hit enter. Okay, I did promise we'll have screencast keys. So if you could give me a couple of seconds, uh, let me just go ahead and try to do that. Add on. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, this is actually helpful. Let's see, R. Okay. Wow, that, okay, that's nice. That is nice. <clears throat> okay, so if you look over here, you see the screencast keys plus the mouse I'm using. Okay, I think you already know that. All right, let's go ahead. Ah, these are large. Well, I hope you can actually see them right. Okay, let's go ahead with the plane and tab into edit mode. Okay, I don't have to say them now since you can read them. But I'll still try to say them in case you can't see it properly. Okay, I'm just using S to scale. Going into the right view. Ah, these are nice. <laughs> these are actually nice. Okay, pardon my uh, amazement. I haven't used them before. Okay, so I'm going to add a mirror modifier. And activate clipping. I'm going to move this in so that I can clip. Okay, now this is very similar to a process called retopology. So if you've sculpted a mesh and you want to retopologize the mesh, this is actually very similar. Okay, so I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier. Where is it? Shrink wrap modifier. And select this guy. Okay, I'm going to offset it a little. Okay, this is a lot. Now the reason it's entering into the mesh is because the geometry is uh, very low. So if I move this up, you see it comes out. Okay, okay, that offset is a lot. Okay, and don't bother about it intersecting the mesh. We can just go into, where is it? Is this right? Object properties, viewport display and select in front, okay? So no matter where I go, it's in front, and we can just activate back face calling, and that just makes it visible from behind, as opposed to this, okay? I just prefer it this way, but if you like seeing it from behind, by all means, do. All right, so I hope we're still recording. Yes, let's continue. Okay, so making the cloth. I'm not using reference for this, but I would advise you to look up cloth, cloth, you look up good topology for clothes or cloth, anyone you want to call it. So I'm just going to extrude. And you can as well activate snapping. And we can just, yeah, let's activate snapping. And you see that just snaps to the surface, okay? The shrink wrap modifier can do well, but at some point, it's trying to figure out where exactly on the mesh you want it. So it's snapping is just a little bit more precise. Okay. 
now of course if you're looking at the screen cast keys you know what i'm hitting but i'll still say it e to extrude and uh, let's go to the back view uh, please remember to use reference for this look up cloth topology and just try to do this okay now the reason we do this as opposed to uh, the previous method in the other video which if you have not watched i recommend you go over and watch that video is because with this method uh, i can't remember the shortcut key for okay shift tab okay so if you can't remember the shortcut key for a particular function just hover over it and you will see shortcut shift tab okay so shift tab just to deactivate the snapping very easily that's a helpful trick there so okay the reason i was saying that we prefer that this method is preferred over the other i mentioned in the other video is because i could do something like this and i could just <clears throat> excuse me customize the cloth better shift tab let's just snap this and you can see i can just do this and i really like this Okay, let me just snap these guys. You see what I'm talking about? The shrink wrap is trying to figure out where I want this point. So it's just guessing right now until you tell it precisely where you want it and it'll find that point, okay? Okay, this is just a rough recording. Uh, by no means should you do this like exactly like this. But let's continue and i could just easily customize this to how i want without being restricted by topology okay so you can see i have this okay now you can see it's going inside and that's just because we don't have enough resolution here so if you add resolution it's going to come up if you add more resolution it will conform to the body better okay so just be careful not to add too much and when you're done i'm just going to leave this as done you can see very easy to edit okay this is uh my preferred method or i could combine method two with method three that i could copy the topology and just retopologize that just to have uh, specific inquiries specific measurements why inquiries so very quickly Okay, let me just make this come down a bit, okay? And when you're done, we're going to the modifiers tab and we're going to apply this. Okay, was that right? Yeah, apply that. And just hit control to subdivide it. And okay, we didn't have enough resolution here. So let's just control R. Let me isolate this and you can see very easily we have a nice crop top okay now you can still edit this further and add loops and do whatever you want with it okay uh just uh have fun with it i don't know what that is but for some reason i liked it so let's just okay so that's just it that's it for this video uh I don't want to rant any further so if you enjoyed this video you know what to do hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video you know what to do hit that subscribe button if you loved this video drop it a like hit the subscribe button drop a comment in the comment section and tell me i absolutely love this video and if you want to see more uh, still hit the subscribe button but now ring the notification bell by the side to get notified every time i release a new video on the channel it has been fun and amazing. I never take you guys' time for granted. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.